Hello and welcome to my new video. So here you can see my mermaid or one of my mermaid works that I've been doing this uh, past week, past last week I think. And um, for the picture I had in mind for the big braid that she has and the kind of the pose somewhat like this. So I went to Pinterest and tried to find a suitable photo for it and I did find it, so I'm very glad about that. And first I really wanted to get a um, tail, a mermaid tail into this picture, but then I tried to make it fit into the framing of it um, and it just didn't work, so I kind of left it out and try to tell the viewer that this is a mermaid with just hints of mermaids, mermaid scales and stuff like that. So I hope it kind of still looks like a mermaid even though you can't see her tail. And if you have never heard about mermaid, it's a challenge that uh, makes you draw every day you should draw one mermaid 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 per day and it can be anything but you could follow a prompt list there is a official one and then there has been so many different ones that people do um, on their own i decided to take some um, influences but not follow the prompt list fully just it went when, when i don't have my own ideas i will I will go and search for them uh, but this is my first time taking a part for mermaid so yeah <laughs> it's been it's been a challenge I haven't been able to draw every day and I've been trying not to stress about it because it's very hard to not burn yourself out and guilt yourself over the days that you haven't been drawing but I'm just training myself to think that it's okay nobody's gonna you know make pay for it <laughs> that you are missing some days it's it's okay to miss days and just try your best so i've been really pushing myself with some of my works they have been bigger and with big backgrounds and even this uh, picture took me a long time because i'm used procreate so little and i'm not familiar with uh digital art and um, it has a little bit of background in it and shading and stuff so it's a complex drawing for me so it took more time than it should have probably um but procreate has been making my starting or dabbling into digital art easier which is nice because I want to be able to do many types of um, types of art especially with procreate because I've been trying um, like years ago do digital art with Photoshop um, so I kind of have those kind of touches in my mind still but um, I can't really blend with procreate I don't know what is it with this program but I just I can't make it look good so that's been one that I really need to look up some tutorials for because I like the painterly look but I can't really make it look like that and then um, I haven't found my favorite brushes I do like some of them but I really don't have any favorites yet and I think that I use too much time to the coloring and I make everything probably a little bit too hard for myself. There could be easier ways to do this, but I just I don't know how to do it yet any other way. So that's why some things feel like they take a lot of time, but it doesn't look like I use that much time on it, <laughs> on the finished piece. So a lot of learning still. Overall, I'm, I'm pretty happy with this. The little bit of background that I did was very satisfying and the colors, I think, go with their other, each other's um, pretty well. 
and the overall layout of everything i can't say the english word i tried to say it like three times composition <laughs> is uh, i think i'm i think it's okay <laughs> the character is not in the middle which i do a lot so i'm trying not to do that so much so it looks a little bit more like a emotional i don't know but i i really like it although i know that there's a lot of things that i i need to learn and fix and stuff so yeah um, hope you liked my mermaid drawing. I will be doing more mermaid drawings um, this month here on my channel. So if you want to see those, stay tuned and see you in my next one. Bye!